Greetings and welcome to ValoU. I'm Zoladrith and I'll be your instructor for today. Today's class is Mechanics 420, the Pop and Swing. The Pop and Swing first involves baiting the enemy to hold their crosshair placement too close to the corner. Then you wide swing, but instead of stopping to shoot, you keep swinging and only then finally stop to shoot. Essentially, the Pop and Swing is an ultra wide swing designed to make your opponents look like fools as they miss their spray on you as you calmly aim and kill them. This move was popularized by the Radiant player Poppin, whilst styling on other famous and high-ranked players, from whom this technique derives its name. The first step is forcing the enemy's crosshair placement to be too close to the corner. While this step is technically optional to increase the chances that you're not the one looking like a fool, it's important that the opponent thinks that you're going to close peek so that they're more likely to commit to a crouch spray on the actual swing. You can do this by jiggle peeking the corner while pre-firing, barely showing your shoulder if you don't want to risk a full peek, or jump spotting to condition the enemy to expect you to peek close again. In this clip, you can see how I have the fear of the pop and swing deep in my bones as I forcibly reset my crosshair placement in preparation of a wide swing every time the enemy Neon wiggles his little gun at me. While he doesn't eventually attempt the technique, I was fully prepared for it, so at least I probably wouldn't have died to a true pop and swing. The second step of the pop and swing is the wide swing. Like any typical wide swing, you want to be running at full speed, perhaps even getting an extra step in to ensure you've hit maximum velocity, and only holding the A or D key to maximize the distance you're moving on the enemy's screen. You want to be aiming during this step, preparing your crosshair to slide over the opponent. And the third step is to keep swinging. And finally, when your crosshair would otherwise peacefully pass over them, you stop and shoot them in the head. The pop and swing has many downsides, such as lower DPS than just shooting them earlier, but the mental damage that you can achieve is incomparable. In summary, the pop and swing is a technique named after the Radiant player Poppin. It involves forcing the enemy to place their crosshair too close to the corner, and then extra extra wide swinging before stopping and shooting. And it makes people look kinda silly. That's all for today's lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the lecturer or the TAs in the comments below. Thanks for attending, and we hope you enjoy your stay here at ValoU.